Hello and welcome to another episode of Kaya Sport TV. On the menu on this uh, Women's Month, we're giving you something from the Netball World Cup where our Sutumea was down under in Sydney, Australia. We also will catch up with the Lions team ahead of the Curry Cup season. That's where Sandy Le Van Heerden was. But of course, it is the Kaya FM 67 kilometer relay. I was out at the captain's dinner and caught up with some big names. Lucas Khatebe, Ezekiel Sipeng and Geraldine Pillay. Listen to this. The Kaya FM 67 kilometer relay. We are here at the Nelson Mandela Foundation in Houghton for the third annual Kaya FM 67 kilometer relay captain's dinner. A little bit later this year is the Kaya FM 67 kilometer relay. Traditionally in July, takes place in September this year to celebrate the Heritage Month here in South Africa. But no different, we have the captain's dinner where several captains of different teams, including a sprinkling of one or two celebrities, join us to chat to us about their experience of having run the race before and what they're looking forward to this year. We're joined by Ezekiel Sipeng. He needs no introduction. He's been a guest on Kai FM several times before. And of course, uh, if you're old enough to remember to have watched that great race, came second behind Wilson Kipkita, 1996 in Atlanta. Uh, Prasillo. Now, you've participated in the KFM 67-kilometer relay several times before. I remember a couple of years ago, the inaugural event, you ran with some of the Sascock legends, and uh, I even passed you somewhere somehow. Um, what has been your experience of uh, participating in the KFM 67-kilometer relay on the last uh, two occasions? Look, this is, has been a, a, a great competition. You know, what I've seen, I'm, I'm not competitive anymore. You know, it, it, it's all about now. Uh, finishing the race, assisting other people on the road, you know, motivating them, you know, as you said. Having fun. You passed me and uh, I saw you in front of me and I said, no. I was joking. <laughs> <laughs> Are you looking forward to participating? Will you be participating given the, the dreaded length of, of, of something more than 100 or 200 meters? I always say anything longer than a 200 meters is a marathon. Um, so unfortunately, I won't be running but I will be there and I will, I want to be a part of this celebration. I want to be a, a, a part of this, you know, I see it as a picnic, you know, and, and people coming together and enjoying people with the same, with the same goal, you know, to be fit and, and, and also for the cause of it. But I will definitely, I will definitely be there, you know, supporting Ezekiel, <laughs> <laughs> supporting him and, and also supporting, you know, just the event. Is 6.7 kilometers too long for, for a football player? To be honest, when we grow up, uh, we grow up running anyway. Mm. Uh, not that when we born, we just born. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> but uh, I think it's in our blood, it's natural that, uh, you know, uh, South African with a structure, you know, we, we always run and, and stamina was in a problem. And once we started playing sports, and that's what happened, we never really train as hard. Because already we prepared ourselves, you know, through through the early days. But uh, I think it's a great initiative, and I think it's it has a, a huge meaning. And I think uh, I can't see why I shouldn't be able to prepare myself to make sure that um, I finish the race. I mean, it's a great race. I think on the day, yes, we, we, I, I want to make sure that I contribute towards a, a great course. And I want to make sure that, uh, you know, uh, I celebrate a great day. And as well, uh, I, I want to make sure that the coming generation realize that, you know, it's how important it is to celebrate, you know, days like this where we don't have to leave, to lose the legacy that we've learned from great people. The Kaya FM 67 kilometer relay has moved to a bigger venue at Expo Center Nazareth. Enter your team of 10 on kaya67relay.co.za Oh, what a night that was. Really enjoyed meeting the likes of Lucas Khatebe, Ezekiel Sipeng, Geraldine Pele, and all the other teams that will be participating in the Kai FM 67 kilometer relay. Remember that if you want to be part of it, it's simple www.kaya67relay.co.za for more information. 1,200 Rand per team, and it's on the 6th of September at the Expo Center Nazrek. Now then, the rugby season is upon us, the Curry Cup season to be more specific. Our man who loves his rugby, Sandy Le Van Heerden, caught up with the Lions.
Well, the Springboks might be getting ready to uh, take part in the World Cup, which is coming up in a few weeks. A lot of other players are getting stuck in in the Curry Cup, which is up and running. I'm here at the home of the Lions, where they've announced a new captain, Yaku Creel, since Warren Whiteley is with the box. Now, Yaku Creel came through the ranks at the Lions, homegrown player, and he's very happy to be leading a team which he supported as a young man. It was always a dream of mine. Um, I've been a Lions supporter all my life and coming to the Lions uh, after school, uh, I've been through the junior ranks and they actually asked me this, uh, this question last year, uh, is the captaincy role up for grabs and yeah, that, uh, the answer was yeah, was I was still there and Derek was still there and um, yeah, as things works out, uh, yeah, I, I got it now and uh, that's uh, yes, it's massive, I'm so blessed to have it. Although the Lions reached the final against Western Province last year and they could have won it if it were not for indifferent kicking in that final, coach Johan Ackermann has shied away from the tag of favourites. We realise it's a, it's a you know, fresh start. Uh, Everybody is going to be hungry, hungry for success. Everybody's going to work hard and that's the same for us. You know, nothing that we've done in the past will mean anything. Um, and the main thing is, you know, it's, 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 we, we may be seen as favourites, but we also went through our changes. Um, and there's some quality players. If you look at the squads, there's some great players in the other squads as well, a mix with youth and experience. So I think the table is set for an exciting curry cup and also a very open curry cup. Well, guys, we are in the middle of a very busy international rugby calendar. Uh, Springboks getting ready for the World Cup. Uh, domestic teams, those who didn't make it, will be looking at the Curry Cup, one of the oldest rugby tournaments in the world. And as you've heard it from the captain and coach here at the Lions, that they'll be taking it very seriously, losing finalists last year in the Curry Cup. So that must have hurt. And they'll probably be looking to go a one better. We'll see how the season pans out. From Emirates Airline Park for Sidestep, I'm Sandy Le Van Heerden. Let's hope that the Lions can carry their Super Rugby form into the Curry Cup this season. Good luck to everyone at the Lions. After rugby, we're talking netball. It is, of course, Women's Month and the Proteas are down under doing South Africa proud at the Netball World Cup. They went as far as the qualification round where, unfortunately, the girls lost to England in a do-or-die match. Our woman on the scene, Sutu Mayer, was down under in Sydney, Australia. She files this report. The Netball Women's World Cup hosted in Sydney, Australia coincided with Women's Month in South Africa, a fitting feat as the Spa Proteas automatically qualified for the tournament thanks to their sixth world ranking. The tournament opener was an unprecedented opening ceremony that lasted an hour and had six segments which celebrated how Netball started and its journey all the way to 2015. The Spra Proteas, with their heads held high, bowed out of the tournament after losing to Australia and England in the second round of the competition. But the experience will be an invaluable one for the girls who are under the leadership of World Cup winning coach Norma Plummer, and she certainly stands by the ladies' talent. Ah, tough luck to the Spa Proteas down under. Just a missed out on qualifying for the semi-finals of the tournament after losing their final qualification round match to England. But I think all will agree that the girls did really well and have improved under coach Norma Plummer. Hats off to her and her technical team for the work that they've done with the girls. That's it for this week's episode of Kaya Sport TV. Join us again next week where we're joined in studio by Bitvest Vits chairman Jose Ferreira as he talks about his club and the goals for the season ahead. Thanks and goodbye.